Hello and welcome to Newsfeed on Trust TV. My name is Dr. Ziakubuzala, bringing you trending stories that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today, and also their opinions on such issues. No regret working against PDP in 2023 presidential poll, says Wiki. Fubara vows action against arsonists in rivers. NCC to sanction Starlink over price hike. Osama bin Laden's son, Omar, ordered to leave France. Now, on top of what's trending, FCT Minister Nyesom Wiki on Tuesday said he has no regrets about working against the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 presidential election. Wiki, who spoke with newsmen, denied engaging in anti-party activities by refusing to support Atiku Abubakar, the then PDP presidential candidate. He defended his decision, saying it was taken for justice and fairness. For presidential election, I said I am going to support equity, fairness and justice. In the other one, I am going to support my party and that is why we won the governor and the National Assembly election, Wiki said. For presidential, I have no apologies because I don't believe in injustice. Today, people say discipline Wiki, he did anti-party. I did not do anti-party, he added. Now, responding to that, someone said, Never in my life have I seen somebody that is directly opposite of nearly everything he has uttered publicly. How he constantly screams integrity makes me wonder whether the word actually has a meaning. Nonso said, this man has no business being in PDP by now. Mustafa wrote, one thing I appreciate God, that Governor Sim Fubara has proved him wrong for the self-acclaimed monopoly in Rivers. The Rivers State Governor Simnalai Fubara has vowed to take decisive action against those responsible for setting ablaze three local government secretariats in the state on Monday. He pledged that the incident, unlike previous cases, will not be ignored and his administration will collaborate with security agencies to identify the perpetrators and hold them accountable. Governor Fubara stated this during the swearing-in ceremony of four new commissioners at the executive chambers of Government House in Portacot. He reminded the audience that he had previously warned the new council chairman of possible attacks and commended his supporters for maintaining calm during the violent confrontations. Expressing regret that the recent political crisis has overshadowed his administration's achievements, the governor announced plans to dedicate a day later this month to highlight these accomplishments. Now someone said, leave fight with your boss and focus on development. Another person said, Fubara's behavior and others like him discourage people from offering help for fear of being betrayed. Another person wrote, Governor Fubara, take action. You promised us of probing past administrations, and that made those assumed to be owners of River State calm. But now that it's no longer seen possible, they've taken this route. Your Excellency, River's people are with you. Now, still talking reverse politics, Governor Simnalai Fubara has urged his predecessor, Nyesum Wike, to let go of any grip he desires to have over River State and allow peace reign in the oil-rich state. Fubara, who stated these to newsmen on Monday, said he does not regret conducting the local government election in the state last Saturday, despite the resistance by Wike's men in the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress, APC. I have all the guts to do these things, the governor said asking his predecessor to let go of whatever hold he thought he had over the South-South state. Now, responding, one Khalifa said, This seems self no strong. Why begging this old dude? You're the governor. Take your stand. Another said, No wonder a super talented Rivers boy looked at all the names in the world, but ended up calling himself Burner Boy. Another wrote, Why is Tinubu keeping mute on River State? Wiki can as well resign and go and play River State politics. Next on what's trending, Justice Emeka Nwite of the Federal High Court Abuja has declared Julius Abure as a substantive chairman of the Labour Party. Delivering judgment, Justice Nwite affirmed the Abure-led leadership and the March 2024 Newe Convention that produced the national leadership. Justice Nwite further ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to recognize Abure as a legitimate chairman overriding the commission's earlier stance that Abure's leadership was invalid. Now, someone said, this Justice Nwite needs to be retired with immediate effect so the judiciary can have a breath of fresh air. 
Another said, Como, how many days does it take to wake up a new party? I saw what Rivers just did with APP. OB and Alex OT should wake up a party among the dead parties in Nigeria. NRC is there or register obedient party at once. Another opined, maybe he will be chairman for himself, family and friends. For LP, he will find it difficult to control them. Next on what's trending, Senate President Godswill Akpabio has called on Nigerians to place their love for the country above financial gain, expressing concern over the growing trend of mass migration, particularly among skilled professionals. Akpabio made the remarks on Tuesday, October 8, during a session on the floor of the Senate while addressing a motion to tackle the increasing migration of Nigerians. He emphasized that Nigeria's development will be accelerated if those who trained abroad return to contribute to the country's growth rather than seeking better opportunities elsewhere. Apabio also acknowledged the poor conditions of service that often drive Nigerians to seek greener pastures abroad, but insisted that love for one's country should come first. Apabio noted that the education sector is also grappling with staff shortages, which negatively impact the quality of education being offered to students. Now responding, one Sila said, let's start with the National Assembly meeting, cutting their salaries with just 50%. Another person said, it's far more better to pray for Nigeria from abroad. One Chuku Ebuka wrote, you didn't think of love when you told us to go ahead and protest while you dine and wine in your house. You didn't think of love when you sent token to your colleagues while Nigerians go to bed with empty stomach. You should have channeled your salary to charity. Let's see how much you love this country, if not for financial gains. And let's go on a quick break. We'll be back in no time. Stay with us. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, you're watching Newsfeed on Trust TV. Now, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, says it will sanction Starlink over a tariff hike. Starlink increased its monthly subscription fee from 38,000 naira to 75,000 naira. It also said new users would get a higher cost for the kit, which was previously priced at 440,000 naira, but will now go for 590,000 naira. It said the hike affects new and existing customers. But the NCC Director of Public Affairs, Ruben Molka, said a decision by Starlink to unilaterally review its subscription packages upwards did not receive the approval of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. The commission will therefore take appropriate enforcement measures against any action by a licensee that is capable of eroding the regulatory stability of the telecommunications industry, he said in the Tuesday statement. According to the NCC, Starlink jumped the gun by announcing price changes. Now reacting, someone said, why them never sanction NNPC for price hike? Another person said, I think the original pricing was an incentive to get a lot of people to buy the devices. So when something like this happens, there wouldn't be any going back. Another person opined, the price is outrageous. More than half a millionaire for internet connection. Too much. Next on what's trending, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has assured Nigerians not to panic as it has implemented policies to ensure that all monies deposited in financial institutions across the country are secured. A statement by the Apex Bank's AG, Director of Corporate Communications, Hakama Ali, on Tuesday, reassured the public of its unwavering commitment to ensuring the stability and reliability of the Nigerian financial system. The development comes following a fresh uproar across the country on Monday, warning customers of certain banks to immediately withdraw their deposits as the licenses of those banks had been withdrawn by the CBN. Now reacting to this, one John said, Nigeria has turned to a country where we hear different lies every day. Money in the bank are secured and people are complaining every day about their missing money. One Emeka said, anytime this assurance is coming, there's trouble. One Alpha wrote, don't leave your large chunks of money resting in your bank account while banks make huge profits from it and pay you bits called interest. Inflation will chatter it by the time you decide to use it. Invest your money. There are various investment levels to look at, from low to medium and high risk investments. Thank you. Now next on what's trending, in a video making the rounds on the internet, Femi Falana-san says, 
some persons have threatened to burn his office and sent threats to kill one of his daughters if he sues video. Take a look. Messages to my one of my daughters that if your father goes to court, we shall kill you. I beg your father in this country. <laughs> I just laughed and I asked my girl, don't worry, I will take it up. I've already, I've already taken that. The only, the only disturbing area in this scenario is the threat to me and one of my two daughters. Some of these guys who I believe are mentally deranged are dared me. If you like, if you go to court, we shall burn your office. They have also sent messages to my one of my daughters that if your father goes to court, we shall kill you. I beg your father in this country. <laughs> I just laughed and I asked my girl, "Don't worry, I will take it up." I've already, I've already taken that up. Well, we must also let these guys know where we are coming from. Now responding to that, someone said, please sir, sue him and lock him for some time, please. Another person said, VDM can never ever text your daughters. Talk less of threatening them, maybe not fake VDM. Another person opined, but my question is that if they know that their hands are clean, why not go after the person who called their names on the voice record to clear up things with Nigerians? And now on the foreign scene, French authorities have ordered Omar bin Laden, a son of slain Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, to leave the country over posts on social media France's interior minister announced on Tuesday. Born in Saudi Arabia where he spent his early years, Omar bin Laden, 43, has also lived in Sudan and Afghanistan. He left his father at the age of 19 and eventually settled in Normandy in northern France in 2016, taking up painting. France's new interior minister, Bruno Retalio, said on X family Twitter that Omar bin Laden had been living in, the, in an apartment of Orne in Normandy as a spouse of a British national. The minister said that the jihadist son posted comments on his social networks in 2023 that advocated terrorism. Now someone said, same ideology and hatred has been passed down like father, like son. Another person said, be careful of what you do. It will haunt your children. Another opined, if you resist the Westerners, you are a terrorist. No one terrorizes the peace of the world more than the Westerners. They want the whole world to submit to them. And that's a wrap on the program today. Do well to follow us across all our social media platforms for more programs, news and documentaries. Until next time, goodbye.